Hi, my name is Gabrielle Hojnacki, and I'll be talking about the prompting hierarchy. Nietzsche J. and Woolery M. 2019 describes a prompt as, quote, the target stimulus is the event or thing that cues the learner with ASD to engage in the target behavior after instruction has stopped, end quote, meaning an event or stimulus in the environment that evokes a specific response. Prompts are important when working with children with ASD to connect instructional discriminative stimulus or an instructional cue with the expected response from the child. It aids in the process of language and skill acquisition. Here is a visual aid, starting with our most intrusive full physical prompting, partial physical prompting, model prompting, it can be either a coic motor, partial or full models, visuals, pictures and objects, verbal prompts, clues, hints, commands, questions, rule statements, and then finally our least intrusive prompt, gesturals. To begin, the least intrusive prompt is a gestural prompt, which may look like touching an object or gesturing or pointing. For example, when a child with ASD is asked to, t to label an animal in a book, after the therapist allows an elapsed time of one to three seconds for an independent response, the therapist will provide a gestural prompt pointing to the animal. Um, next is verbal prompting. Verbal prompting may include clues, hints, commands, questions, and or rule statements. An example of a verbal prompt is when teaching a child with autism to request an item that they desire, in this instance a cookie, the therapist may provide a full verbal prompt of cookie or coo if they already know how to request cookie, and it will cue the client to verbalize cookie. So going from our verbal to our visual, um, visual prompts are using pictures or objects um, or signs that can cue the learner to display the desired behavior. For example, in the restroom, rather than using verbal prompts, which are hard to fade out, a BCBA may implement a visual aid of visual prompt for the child to use the restroom wash their hands, and close the door. Um, our, next prompt, our next prompt is the model prompt, which can be full or partial, echoic or motor. For example, when teaching listener responding for sit down, a therapist may provide the model of sitting down, and the the client will respond with the correct response. The second to most intrusive is the partial physical prompt. For example, in the bathroom when washing hands, after providing full physical prompting, the therapist may fade out and provide partial. Instead of having hand over hand, now they'll have touched the elbow or the shoulder. It's not exactly the desired behavior, but it is touching, cueing the response from the client. Our last prompt is our full physical prompt, which is the most intrusive. A full physical prompt is hand over hand. You are, you are practically being the client's shadow, so your hand will be over their hand, just like our example from partial physical prompting. The therapist will provide full physical prompting in the bathroom with washing hands. They may take their hand over their hand like this, and then wash their hands. And that's an example of full physical prompting. So just once again, it the most intrusive is full physical, 
then partial, physical, model, visual, verbal, and gestural. And it is very important to prompt when working with children with autism to ensure that you provoke the expected response from the client.